Alrighty then, today we're going to be trying out a makeup brand that I have actually wanted to try and own for like, I wanted to try it and I wanted to own it for like a decade. I was drinking one of these um, in a recent video and someone was like, Red Bull and pregnancy doesn't go well together. And I'm like, okay, Dr. Kinsley, like what in the world? <laughs> like hot Cheeto fries and pregnancy don't go together, but am I going to stop eating them? No, I am not. But, um, you're allowed 250 milligrams a day and this is less than half that. So, um, I'm not going to get rid of all of my vices. Okay. Like I'm doing really good here. Okay. I'm building this baby. I just hate when people insert their opinions and it's like, I really don't give a shit that you think that Red Bull doesn't go with pregnancy. Like you probably never even had a baby yourself. So why don't you f right off? Okay. Now that I got that out of my system, <laughs> Uh, okay, so I just got my nasty fingerprints all over this and excuse my little moo moo. I'm like straight up wearing a moo moo. I just put tanning, um, tanning solution on and Nick is out of town, which means I get to wear all of the ugly shit that he hates. And this is one of the things that he does dislikes. It is like a long t-shirt with pockets. And I'm pretty sure like it's, it's giving me like Christmas winter vibes for some reason, even though it's really just camping, but, um, it is so comfortable, especially while I'm pregnant. So I'm wearing it while he's out of town. All right. So I saw this palette in Ulta and I was like, I'm pretty sure this is the only palette that I'm going to have to travel with. I was like, I'm pretty sure the only thing I'm really going to need to bring other than what's in this palette is lipstick, mascara, lashes, and some face makeup. I think that I could use like all of this for contour, blush, eyes, obviously nothing too dramatic. If I wanted to bring a black, I could, but this is the glam face palette. Eye and cheek essential. So we're going to try it out today and see a long time ago. I couldn't afford this palette. Now I can. So I bought one. I am going to be completely honest. I have not spent money on a makeup palette in almost a decade probably I get sent so much makeup that I just feel like it would be a waste not to use it all and so yeah I just haven't bought a makeup palette in a very very long time so it was weird to buy this I was just like I'm gonna spend $150 on an eyeshadow palette okay let's see so I also got this one um this is the my dream palette and I'll give you a little sneak peek of this I was um loving the shades in this so I'm excited to try this one out but uh, uh, Natasha Denona is a makeup artist, a very well-known makeup artist. If you're not sure who that is, like just, can we focus on the palette? Hello? <laughs> oh my gosh. The camera is not cooperating. Anyways, beautiful. So Natasha Denona, this one, oh my gosh, it's like a, it like looks green sometimes and purple sometimes on the camera. It's only looking kind of like a mauvey purple, but in person it looks green. It is shifty. It's really pretty. So Natasha Denona palettes, I don't know why. I thought for some reason that these were like $150. Maybe you guys remember, did they used to be more expensive because these palettes were around 60 to $70 each. And I just thought, I thought I remembered them being way more expensive. So not too sure about that, but, um, one concern I do have about this is the, uh, the highlight looks very, um, like kind of like chunky. Why is this camera not focusing on my damn hand? <laughs> it looks a little chunky. So I don't really like chunky highlighters now that I'm in my mid thirties. So let's just see, I'm just going to do a pretty basic eye look. I think just some like glittery on the lids and then smoke out the middle. I have a lot of other shit to do today. So I kind of just wanted to play with this and see. So enough talking. Have you guys ever tried Natasha Denona? Some of you did reply to my story. I saw and you were saying that you absolutely love this palette. Someone else said, eh, take it or leave it. So, um, we'll see what happens, I guess. Anything I'm using, um, I'm not really going to go over it while I'm filming just for the sake of time, but I will link everything in the comments bowl or in the comments, I mean, in the description box below. So you can check it out there. I'm just going to put a quick base on my eyelids. So I'm going to go right in with this guy, then this one, and then I'm going to do this one in the corner to deepen it up a little bit. And I'm thinking that I can probably use this shade as 
I'm gonna feel this. It's very like buttery. I'm like wiping everything on my moo. Oh well. Um, it's very buttery. I'm interested to see how much fallout there is and how easy it is to blend out. I always imagined these just blending like a dream based on everything that I saw and the fact that Natasha is a makeup artist. Like she doesn't have time to sit here and blend out chalky ass eyeshadows. So I'm going to guess. Wow. And that's pretty much already blended and I didn't really have to even do anything. There's not a lot of like, um, kickback, I guess, when I dip into the palette. I haven't used those words in so long in a video, like describing eyeshadow. I'm like, how do I describe it? <laughs> this is the crease shade, as they tell you, so you know where to put it. <laughs> For the sake of trying everything, we're gonna go in with smoke. Let me just show you that one. It is this one right here. I was um pulling out the grate. Oh geez. <laughs> I was pulling out the grates to the top of like our stove, and I got this band-aid on here because I sliced my freaking finger open. I could not believe how effing sharp the metal was on that. I was not prepared for that. It is literally meant to be pulled out and cleaned. So I was pretty shocked that it was, uh, it's like almost like somebody forgot a step when they manufactured it. Cause there was just no way that a piece that's supposed to come out and be washed is supposed to be that freaking sharp. That was pretty gnarly. <laughs> I haven't put eyeshadow up this far towards my brow bone in so long because I've been just doing such basic bitch looks lately, which is totally fine. It's like mom me. It's my new life. Um, <laughs> it's my new makeup journey. But uh, yeah, this is interesting. Outer corner, inner corner. Ooh, okay. So they've got um, this one right here for the inner corner and then this one for the outer corner. It's really pretty. Okay, so it's like, um, it goes on kind of like a, like a glitter a little bit. Like I almost feel like I need a base on there. Like a, I don't think I have anything around here. Yeah, it's very like, I don't think this camera is going to focus. I don't know what's wrong with the settings, but maybe I can zoom in. It's like glittery, kind of like shimmery. You can kind of tell by like the fallout down here that it's like a little more flaky which is like a good and a bad thing. I like it for like when I kind of just want to dust it over like a really natural kind of a look. It's not too like, you know, like in your face. I really need to get a towel. Um, but it's also quite a bit messier. Oh, that's so pretty, look at that. I'm gonna put it on the outer corner, kind of the middle outwards. Okay, I look like I'm going to the Emmys. This is so glittery. I was not prepared for, I was not prepared for the amount of glitter that's going on right now. So far, I mean, I always find it very hard to like see how an eyeshadow look is looking. Okay, so it kind of went into the crease there. Um, I find it hard to see what an eyeshadow is like looking like exactly when I don't have, like when I have uneven skin tone, I don't have the rest of my makeup done. So I might go back and touch some of this up, but let's get our... Um, base on. Before we do that, let's do a little liner. Let's, I've powdered, I've done all of that good stuff. Let's go back to our palette. Ow. Um, and I'm going to try to use this guy as a contour and see how it looks. It's actually like the perfect shade for my skin tone. What I'm seeing here is looking pretty good. Like if I want like a bronzer, this isn't it, but for shading, I think this is actually pretty good. I do 
think this is a really good shade though for my skin tone and like I said there is the darker one it's kind of same as this one it's I would say it's right smack dab in the middle of being cool and warm toned it's kind of like a really good balance so if that works for you this could be a pretty cool palette because it's kind of seeming like I may not need to bring another palette with me yes fingers crossed okay I'm terrified to go in with this highlight but we're gonna do it first we're gonna do the blush though I really need a towel like wiping everything on my Moomoo. That is too dense of a brush. This blush is looking to me like, kind of like, um, not cream. It says cream blush, but it's kind of more to me like uh, ColourPop blushes. Kind of, they're kind of like cushy. They're not like wet, but they're not dry. Do you know what I mean? It's like this blush is a lot darker than a blush that I would normally go for. On camera, it's actually looking lighter than it is in person, but let's see. Okay, so it's not super, this is similar to, this is very similar to um, the ColourPop blushes. So it's, the good thing about that is that they come off little by little so you can build, you know. So sometimes you go into blush and you just put it on and you're like, holy sh**, that was like so much pigment in one spot. It's very easy to kind of move this around like look how easy that was literally just a few dabs and it's like pretty much already blended out put a little up here too oh, highlight oh my gosh i don't even have a highlight brush on hand because i just haven't been wearing highlight i'm gonna dig into this highlight let's see it looks it kind of is reminding me what's going on here i really hope that's not this because it first of all it doesn't match the palette and it makes it so that you have to be pretty young to be able to pull it off. Because blush, oh my goodness, I took way too much. Okay, that's actually really pretty and not chunky like I thought it was gonna be. It looks more like a wet highlight as opposed to chunky chunkness like I thought it was gonna look, so I'm happy about that. Uh, yeah, that's nice. Okay, I might put a little here. That looks pretty. It's definitely like, it's like chunky, but like finely milled. I don't even know. That doesn't even, that doesn't even make sense, but it goes on very nicely and is not looking chunky like I thought it was going to. That just looks really, really, really pretty. I'm actually gonna put this on my eyebrows as well, or my brow bone. I can't even remember the last time I put a highlight on my brow bone, you guys. Like, I bet you could apply this highlight very well, like with a moist brush. Sorry if you don't like that word. Um, or like a, like a damp beauty blender. I'm gonna try spritzing this and dipping in and seeing Oh yeah, that, that does make quite a bit of a difference. I did some brows and some um, lashes. I just put like little halfies on over here. There's a kitten just rubbing herself all over my feet. This is, okay, we have two kittens and I haven't introduced them yet on my animal channel, but they are the neediest cats I have ever met and it's a lot. <laughs> so I can't find my one freckle maker uh, that I really like. So we're gonna use two different shades here by ColourPop. Um, I just felt like I wanted to put some extra freckles on. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I wanna give you guys my thoughts about this palette overall while I'm doing this. I really love it. I think that it was 100% worth the $65. I think that it blended out really nicely. I was very, I'm very into the highlighter, even though I have not been wearing highlighter lately and I didn't think I was really going to enjoy it because I just haven't been, I, I don't know about you guys, but I just, I stopped doing highlighters. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I just don't really wear them that much. Hi, Key. Hello. Hello. You want to say hi to everybody? Cause you're so cute. Say hello. I so needy. I saw Needy, the neediest kitten ever. Look at my little cute face though. She has these little ear 
wisps. You see these? I don't know if you can see these. They're like the cutest little things ever. For me, this is a palette that I would pretty much, this is like probably the only thing, like I said, other than I like mascara, eyelashes, and eyebrow stuff, and lip stuff. This is the only palette that I would, and, and foundation obviously. Um, this is the only palette that I would take with me for blush, highlight, um, and eyeshadow. So I am really stoked on that. I tend to pack way too heavy and everything is very heavy. And this is actually very, very, very light. They are like basic shades or whatever. And they're like, not like uh, completely life changing, but they do blend out very well. <sighs> Did you see this cat crawling up in my chest? I told you. Um, they blend very, very well and just how well it has worked for my skin, I think it's kind of a must. So, I mean, maybe you have all of these shades and whatnot in other palettes, which I do too, but the fact that it's all together in one lightweight palette that I can just take with me is definitely a win for me. So, what are this? So that is a real, what are you doing, sweetie? <laughs> you don't want to eat that, I promise. It's metal. Mm, I think this one. Oh my gosh, my mic is nowhere near, oh my goodness, is this whole video scrapped? I just realized that I forgot a step, I did not put my mic anywhere near me. Oh my goodness. All right, I just put the microphone on the counter, or the table here, so hopefully you can hear me. I might have to scrap this entire video, I don't know. If you're still watching this, I didn't. And I'm so sorry for the shitty sound the whole video. I really need to like, just leave my filming setup, just set up and not touch it, because I always forget things. My brain is not what it used to be. Those are my thoughts overall. I think this is a great palette. I love it. I'm so glad I bought it. I'm gonna be traveling with this probably for the next few trips. And if I wanna add any drama or extra color to my look, I'll probably just be bringing like little lightweight singles like this from ColourPop. And um, yeah, I would love to hear what you guys think of Natasha Denona. Do you have either of these palettes? Do you like them? Do you love them? Have you, was it a miss for you? I just love to hear because this is the first time I've ever used it and it has been around a very long time. So let me know in the comments below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, throwing a little makeup in there. Anyways, I'll leave you with that. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Bye guys.